What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Shelly Nicole. And if you can't tell from the title, this video is inspired by Black Panther the movie. And this video is also my entry for the Next Face Awards 2018. I just really was inspired by the movie Black Panther. It's a really great movie if you haven't seen it already. And I just thought this look would be really dope to create. Just super colorful, tribal, and festive and just like Wuhanda. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. I'm starting off with a very clean face already prepped for makeup and I'm taking a little swig of my lemon water really quick. So you guys already know I always wear my hair curly out and I wanna do something a little bit different so I decided to put some Bantu knots in the front of my hair just to make it a little bit more festive for the look. So I'm just breezing through this part of the video because this isn't a professional Bantu knot video. And of course, you cannot have Bantu knots in your hair and not lay your baby hairs down. So that's what I'm doing right now with a toothbrush. So for the sake of the video, I already finished one eye and I will show you guys what I did on the other eye. So I already prepped my eye for eyeshadow and I am going in with a tan eyeshadow for my transition color. And I'm going to blend that in with a fluffy brush. Now I'm going to go in with a pinkish purple eyeshadow and I'm going to place that right in my crease. And I'm going to blend that very, very well because this is going to serve as another transition color for our look. And then I'm going to go in with a really fluffy brush and start blending out those harsh edges. And I added a little bit more of that pink color just to give it a little bit more color. Now I'm going in with a deeper purple color and I'm going to go directly on my crease and I'm going to start creating that halo effect on my eye. And I'm going to keep adding on that color until I feel that it has enough payoff for me. Now I'm going to grab some concealer and I'm going to go into the middle of my eye and start carving out where I want to place this next eyeshadow at. Now I'm going in with a glitter purple eyeshadow and I'm just patting that where I placed that concealer at on my eye. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of black and that dark purple again and I'm going to start blending around where I just placed on that light purple just to make it look more gradient. I'm going to go in with some adhesive on a very thin brush and I'm going to place that right above that purple color and then I'm going to go in with a silver glitter and place that glitter right over that adhesive that we just placed down. Now I'm going to go in with a black gel liner and I'm going to start lining my eyes and I'm going to create a cat eye. And now I'm going to just place on some false lashes on both of my eyelids. Now for the fun part, I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to start making myself a blueprint for my Black Panther bodysuit. So before I go into the actual body painting of this, I'm going to start with my face. So I'm going to just go through my normal face routine by doing a little bit of foundation, a little bit of concealer, and I'm blending that all in with a sponge. And then I'm just going to set my entire face with a face powder using a brush. And then I'm going to go in and use a little bit of highlighter on my cheekbones and on my nose. And then I'm going to go in with a makeup wipe and I'm going to wipe away the parts of my face that I know I'm going to be painting over. So right now I'm going to go back in with that NYX Jumbo Pencil and I'm going to sketch out where exactly I'm going to start my mask and where I know I'm going to be painting over parts of my face of. 
So right now I'm going in with a black paint and I'm just going to start painting over parts of my face that I know that's going to be part of my armor. And this is the part where it's going to get a little bit tricky. So right now I'm using a little bit of the same foundation I used on my face. And I'm going to create the blank canvas effect that you see in makeup trends. So this is the part that's going to get a little bit tricky. So once I have that complete, I'm going to start painting the outside portions of my armor with black body paint. Now I'm going in with a metallic purple body paint and I'm filling in those other gaps that are part of my armor that glows. Going in with a white body paint, I'm going to start creating that tribal detail that you see on the Black Panther's body armor. And I'm just taking my time and just creating lines in different directions, up and down and all throughout those purple lines that you see on my body. Going back to finish the eyes, I'm just using that same fuchsia eye color that I used on my crease to go underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna use a shimmery eyeshadow to put on my inner tear ducts. So now to create an even more festive look, I'm going to go in again with white body paint and I'm going to just start creating lines all over my face. I also decided to create little white dots over top of my eyebrows to make it even more tribal. And this is the time to get creative. You don't have to do the same exact things that I've done. I'm just drawing inspiration from what I saw in the movie from Princess Shuri and everything and the woman of Wakanda. So this is the part where you just want to get really creative and, and just wing it. Stay. 
so that is it for this video you guys i really really love creating this look for you guys and i'm very proud of this piece because it's literally haunted me for weeks i drew so much inspiration from black panther the blank canvas makeup trend a little bit of coachella this is hairstyle from all the stars video I just drew a lot of inspiration from a whole lot of different things and I mashed it all together to create this look that's haunted me for weeks and I'm so happy that I made it come alive. If I make it a top 30, I mean, oh my god, that's going to be completely unbelievable, but that's all I have for this video, so I will see you guys in the next one, so bye!